everybody, Amazing Atheist here. You know, something kind of interesting happened yesterday, or the day before. Bill Maher, uh, the comedian and uh, host of HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher, was on uh, The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, and he said some things that I guess are considered controversial in America. The audience kind of turned on him and was yelling back and forth with him. The right wing loves, the, the go-to rhetoric for them is, wouldn't it be fun to kill the people we disagree with? You know, they try to put across this false equivalence. No? Really? Then do you read? Did you, have, you, have you seen what people have said? Have you seen what Sarah Palin says? You know, she Some talks about make, yeah, don't retreat, reload. She says it like a pull toy that's broken. Every five yeah. minutes she says this. Yeah. Uh, Michelle Bachman said she want, wants Minnesotans armed and dangerous. Alan West, a new congressman, said he wants his opponent to be afraid to leave the House. Left-wingers don't talk that way. Hey, you know, you, you have to bear in mind here, the audience of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno are, of course... I mean, their brains are made of porridge, right? And if they're subjected to anything outside of their very bland, very vanilla worldview, their brains kind of cave in. Um, uh, I don't find anything Bill said to be controversial, but you gotta, you got to bear in mind the mentality of this crowd, okay? you got to remember these are people, they've never really seen a liberal before they don't know what that is they've heard about it from their preacher man or they've heard about it from Rush Limbaugh or they've heard about it from a friend of theirs but they never actually seen one and then to actually find out that there are these people out there who vehemently disagree with them about so many things that just blows their mind cuz they assume that that kind of person doesn't really exist and whenever they do encounter that sort of person, they try to explain it away. Oh, well, Bill Maher, you know, he's an elitist, you know. He, he's he's a, a pompous elitist. He's, he's a, just one of these Hollywood liberals, you know. There's no one like, no real common working man who has to struggle to pay his bills actually thinks the way Bill Maher does, which is horseshit, but they don't care because they live in their insular little community, their small little world, and anything that challenges their perception of how things are, they immediately attack like a white blood cell attacks a foreign entity that is into the bloodstream, you know? Well, I mean, first of all, you know, we're going to have to hear from the NRA mm -hmm. a lot about how this shouldn't stop anything that they want to do. First of all, the NRA should just change their name to the Assassin's Lobby. Because <laughs> that's what they are. Yeah, you can applaud that. Somebody should applaud that. So, uh, first of all, before this video even really kicks off, I think I should make it clear that I don't agree with Bill on a lot of what he said. I am a liberal. I'm not afraid of that word. I'm a liberal. Liberal. That's me. But I'm not liberal on guns. I don't have the position of the left when it comes to firearms. I just don't. I've never shot a gun. I probably never will shoot a gun. I don't like guns. They make me nervous. But I'm not against them. You know, I wouldn't want you coming and taking away rights from me. I don't want you to come and say, Amazing Atheist, you can't say this anymore. We're taking away freedom of speech. I wouldn't want you to do that. So I'm not going to come take your gun away. You can shoot your gun. I can shoot my mouth. And we can both be happy. As long as you don't shoot me, I'm fine with you. So I do not, do not agree with Bill Maher. However, I really like what he had to say. I thought it was interesting. I'm glad that there is someone who will go on television programs in America and say these unpopular things that most people don't agree with. I'm glad that there is someone out there who will challenge the status quo and say, hey, maybe these guns aren't such a good thing, because that means there's still a healthy debate. I don't like it when I see that 90% of Americans or 80% of Americans all agree on something. You know, as much as we bitch and complain about how polarized things are, I'd rather they be polarized than everyone just marching in lockstep towards a single goal. Because when everyone thinks the same and wants the same, that is when it starts to feel like fascism to me. 
But even though I don't agree with Bill Maher on this gun issue, I found some of the responses to him to be pretty fucking stupid. Here's a response on NBC.com from a user called American1950. I do not understand why you give Bill Maher the forum to spout his vile hatred for our country on your network. This is already just reprehensibly stupid. Because Bill Maher did not spew hatred for our country. I mean, you can clearly see where he says that Democrats need to reclaim patriotism. And he defines patriotism. Maybe you don't agree with his definition of patriotism. But it is patriotism. These are the things he wants for America. That is his agenda for the country. A person who hates his country does not have an agenda for his country. A person who hates his country just wants to see his country destroyed. Not improved, destroyed. I do not see any difference between Bill Maher and the Tucson shooter. Wow! Wow! That is powerful fucking stupid. That is just horrendous. Why you don't see any difference between Bill Maher getting on The Tonight Show and saying, I don't like guns and I don't think that we should have the same gun policy that we have in America. I think we should have a much stricter regulation placed on firearms. You see no difference between that and someone going to a political rally and shooting people, including a nine-year-old girl. No difference between Bill Maher going on Tonight Show and saying guns are bad and someone shooting a child in the fucking head. No difference. The sa it's the same. You, sir, are a disgrace. You are a dumb... I don't... I don't even know what you are. I can't... I, I, there is no... I, I feel like I have a deficit of negative adjectives that I could spew at you, sir. Because you have no, I mean, you have no idea how dumb that sounds. How did you type that and look at it and say, yep, that's what I want to say. Like, I can understand, key to the moment, you're angry, you type that, but then you look at it and you say, oh no, that's fucking stupid, what was I thinking? You delete it! You don't post it up! They both have complete contempt for this country, our constitution, our country's values, and its people. No. Wrong, sir. The Arizona shooter was apparently quite fond of the constitution. He talks about the constitution ad nauseum in his videos. Apparently, you didn't bother to inform yourself. The only difference is that Bill Maher uses words rather than a 9mm pistol. That's a pretty big fucking difference, dude. That's a really, that's like a, a giant chasm of difference. Oh, that's like saying, oh yeah, my grandma's just as bad as the Unabomber. You know, the only difference is grandma sends cards and the Unabomber sends bombs. That's really the only difference between them. It's a big f I don't know why I'm explaining this. Why do, I, why do I have to explain this to anyone in America? 1950, is that when you were born? Are you 60 years old and this stupid? Like, how did you survive 59 years to get to this point? You know, I, mean, I, I can't imagine your life. Yeah, I'm just going to break this thermometer in half and drink this mercury because it looks tasty. I think it's a refreshing beverage. You know, how are you still alive? I believe that they are both mentally unstable and need professional help. Bill Maher has no talent, not funny, nor entertaining. You know, whatever. He's not funny. He's not entertaining. Who gives a shit? I mean, you, you, you're you really going to follow up. He's as bad as the Tucson shooter, and he hates America with, he's not funny either. You know, I, maybe he's not funny. I, I don't know. I think he's funny. I watch him. I laugh. He gets that big old gut laugh from me. I think he's the funniest comedian working today. But then again, I, I usually agree with him on stuff. So maybe if I was a conservative with a stick up my ass, I'd watch him and say, oh, I'm offended, I can't believe I have to hear this, ah! You know, maybe that would be me. But since I'm not a, a total imbecile, that's not me. And I think he's funny. Personally, I think he's funny. This guy is, is, is small beans. 
compared to what else I got for you. There's these uh, guys on the radio, on XM Satellite Radio, and they call themselves Opie and Anthony. And they did a response to Bill Maher, and it is, well, just listen. Your, your take on this tragedy in, in Arizona, this, this gunman shooting, I mean, you always have an interesting perspective on these things. Well, I mean, first of all, you know, we're going to have to hear from the NRA mm -hmm. a lot about how this shouldn't stop anything that they want to do. First of all, the NRA should just change their name to the Assassin's Lobby. <laughs> Because that's what they fuck are. Fuck you. Yeah, you can applaud Just that. fuck your mother in our yeah. fucking asshole. That was kind you of funny, fuck, though. Fuck you, the funny. Assassin's it Lobby. <laughs> really? The fucking only, the only organization in this country that's protecting your Second Amendment freedom, that is keeping the Second Amendment from being wiped off the fucking Constitution by cocksuckers like you, is the NRA. Yeah, they got their faults. absolutely. fucking lootly But they're doing uh, the only uh, job of defending the Second Amendment amendment against people that just want to swipe it right away from you. Fuck you, Bill Maher. I'm sure whenever anyone comes up to Bill Maher and wants to give him shit, there's some big motherfucker with a gun to keep any uh, uh, people away from him. Go fuck yourself and your mother. What are you, a Fu fucking expert? Fuck you, Bill Maher. Bill Maher. Because that's what they are. Yeah, you can applaud that. Somebody should applaud that. Oh, really? I, I'm, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing about the, the Second Amendment and the Constitution. Oh, if you? you love guns, just admit it like a, it's a vice. It's like alcohol or drugs or sex addiction <laughs> or gambling. Fuck you! It's just a vice. It's something you like. It's not good for you or anybody else. You just like it. But stop the bull it's... about the Second Amendment and the Constitution. Right. Because nobody stop. needs. Stop the yeah, bullshit. Nobody needs a gun that fires 31 rounds. How about it's yeah. fun? That's what this guy had. How about Although, it's fun? Thing, Sarah know. Palin needed five to shoot that moose that was basically on the end of the couch. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him. He's talking about a constitutional right. Go fuck yourself. He's such an asshole. How about I talk like that about the First Amendment and you shut your fucking mouth? How about I go, hey, no one needs that First Amendment. You know, the one where Bill Maher can go on Jay Leno and mouth off about other amendments. Go fuck yourself. That cunt <laughs> is a douchebag and I fucking hate him. And he's got no concept of what freedoms in this country are. He gets on his dumb fuck show and talks shit like that all the time. And then he gets on Leno and infects that show? With his drivel? Fuck you, Bill Maher. Fuck yo! Fuck yo! Oh, fuck yo! Fuck yo! Really? That's what you got? Like, this guy, I, I want you to understand that this guy is rich. He's rich because he is paid to get on the radio and talk. And that's all he's got. No... I used to uh, I used to think it was interesting the whole XM thing like wow XM uncensored radio but this is all they do with it like literally the very second you give these guys a license to use profanity that's all they can do that's their total response like their entire response to Bill Maher is just fuck you fuck yeah fuck you fuck you does it work when I do it fuck you fuck you fuck you yeah. Do you feel like I've refuted you, Anthony? Do you feel like that's uh, that's an effective arguing tactic? Do you feel like that is a uh, that's like the the ultimate debate? Like Lincoln Douglas, Douglas gets up and speaks his piece, and yeah, you know we need slaves and all that, and then Lincoln just gets up and says, "Fuck you, fuck you, Douglas, fuck you, what the fuck, Douglas, fuck you, bitch." I'm Lincoln, motherfucker! Fuck! <laughs> I mean, really, okay, and, and let's actually look at your, your actual arguments that you, you made there. You said, oh, uh, what, Bill Maher shouldn't be against the NRA because the NRA is defending the Second Amendment from people like Bill Maher. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I mean, that, that's, that's so circular. Do you not see that that is a circular bit of reasoning, sir? Bill Maher is against the Second Amendment, and therefore he shouldn't be against the Second Amendment because... Why, exactly? I, I know why. Because the, 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 the Constitution is infallible! You know, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, 
uh, you know, 200 plus years ago, a bunch of rich, white, slave owners got together and exercised their absolute perfection and, and magnificent divinity to transcribe a document written by God himself and handed to America. And, and it's perfect. It's a perfect document. It, it's, it's flawless. Nothing in that document can be argued. We can argue about where the boundaries of the First Amendment are. We can argue about where the boundaries of the Second Amendment are. We can argue about the boundaries of every single amendment. And we do so all the time. You know, when it comes to freedom of speech, there is a healthy and lively debate about what people can and cannot say. There is a real lively debate on that issue. When it comes to privacy, the Fourth Amendment, there is a real lively debate about where that begins, where that ends, where it applies. But on the Second Amendment, you're saying, no, we're not even allowed to argue about it because it is flawless, perfect, and ingenious in every way. I'm sorry, I don't buy that. I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God, and I certainly don't believe that a group of men 200 years ago are, are flawless. I don't believe that they were infallible men. I just don't. I find that notion to be quite ridiculous. I find it absurd to think that just because someone wrote something down and everyone agreed this is a good idea, that we have to be beholden to it for all time. I think that you can debate. You can say, maybe this isn't a perfect document. Maybe we can change it. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. The Second Amendment was written when there were muskets. They were using black powder in those days. They were, this, a gun was, let's load this up and do this little jerk-off motion and into the barrel and then we'll shoot and, you know, it's not accurate and it doesn't have any range. And then, you know, we want to reload, it takes another fucking 20 minutes. You know, that, that's a gun. That's arms back in the time of the, uh, the Founding Fathers. And that's another thing, it doesn't say the right to bear guns, it says the right to bear arms. If we interpret it loosely enough, I should be able to have a, a ballistic missile in my backyard. If I can afford it, if I so choose, it is my Second Amendment right. But they didn't, under, they didn't know fucking shit about ballistic missiles. And they didn't know anything about Uzis or AK-47s or M-16s. They didn't know about this shit. They didn't even have 9mm, you know, they didn't have, like, extended clips and guns that shoot 31 bullets. They didn't have that. You know, if you have an argument why you should be able to have that, have it. Have that argument independent of the Constitution. Don't say, oh, it's in the Second Amendment. That's all I need. Second Amendment trumps everything you got. It was a document written by men, that's all it is. It's a fantastic document, don't get me wrong, and I believe in it, and I think that its freedom should be applied as broadly as possible. But that's my argument, that's my belief. I'm looking at the merit of what's said, I'm not just saying this document is good because it's good. I'm saying it's good because the freedoms it guarantees us are important. Like, what bothers me is the rights that people are willing to give up right. are the things that don't kind of go hand in hand with their own ideology. That's what drives me nuts. Like Bill Maher is a liberal guy. So, right. so to him, Amendment 2 is kind of not that important and whoever needs it is just a gun nut. Right, right. But a again, nut. if you were to take away, like you said, his right to say something, right. people are just very selective in what they defend and condemn. And it's like you either agree, you know what I mean? That's what drives me fucking crazy. Do, do, people People are very selective in what they defend and condemn. That is what drives you crazy. Wow. Yeah, I, I thought the angry guy was bad. It is like, what is this? Angry guy and stupid guy. Well, angry guy is stupid too, but apparently the guy who's not as angry is even stupider. Uh, what's the alternative to that? They should just defend everything or condemn everything? I mean, what, what, where's the logic here? I don't, I don't understand. Like, are you actually berating people for having a nuanced view of things. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I, I'll be honest with you, man. I'm just not feeling you on this. I'm not feeling the whole, we either have to condemn everything or we have to defend everything. That's what you just said. You said you were getting tired of people being selective. No, you fucking dumbass. Selective is good. 
It's good that people are selective. It's good that they're thinking. It's good that they're saying, maybe this is good and this is bad. You know, some of the berries are poison, motherfucker. <sighs> people don't realize the way the amendments were written, number one is speech, number two is fucking right to bear arms, which directly protects number one. You dumb fuck. It is there and written that way on purpose. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then we added the whole no slavery thing later on and the women can vote too thing. That was even later. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're written in order of priority, though, by the infallible founding fathers. So, uh, you know, they, they said freedom of speech first and then uh, guns second and then a bunch of other shit. And then, you know, uh, how about some, uh, some slaves can vote? You know, after all the Founding Fathers are dead. And then, okay, I guess women can vote too. Come on, guys. Are you really going to make the argument that these are an order of importance? If they were an order of importance, shouldn't the First Amendment really be everyone is free and has the same rights, every single person, regardless of their gender, regardless of their skin color? Yeah, I know. I know that was impractical for the time period, I know that social attitudes just wouldn't permit that. But that's what I'm saying! This is not a perfect document! It's not this, this great and perfect and wonderful thing! It's good! It's good! Especially for its time, it's good! And I agree with most of it. I really do. Believe me, I'm on your side. Ideologically. But you're just so bad at making the argument. You're just... I mean, I... I I'm not even mad at you for, for picking on Bill Maher, because he's way smarter than you guys, and he could totally pwn you into oblivion himself if he wanted to. And I'm not mad at you for having uh, this position, because frankly, I agree more with you than Bill Maher. What I'm mad about is how fucking dumb you are. Because to me, see, I don't think about the problems of America as being the problems of left and right. I think of them as being the problems of smart and just dumb. And you're dumb. And you're on the radio. And you have lucrative contracts. And you make millions of dollars a year. And I'm frankly jealous. I wish I was as stupid as you guys. I really do. Because in the battle between stupid and smart, stupid is winning. I wish I was as dumb as one of you guys. I wish that... I was just this dumb, slack-jawed fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna get me on radio, talk me some shit. <laughs> I can't believe this. The Bill Maher on the fucking Tonight Show talking his shit, and I hate that son of a bitch, and I wish he'd die, and I love guns, and I love America, and I love waving my flag, and I love Sarah Palin, and I love the eagle that soars majestically through the heights of the sky. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, yeah, you love it. I wish I loved it, too. Because if I did, I'd, I'd, I'd not be on YouTube. I'd be on the radio. I'd be making bank. I'd be rolling around in piles of money. Beautiful women to the left of me. Beautiful women to the right. Gold dust showering down upon us as we frolic in our money orgy. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be my life if I was as dumb as you. But I'm not... I'm cursed with this thing called intelligence. And, you know, let me just say that, you know, there's a, there's plenty of smart right-wingers. There are. People like Lee Doran on YouTube, How the World Works. Smart guy. You know, I don't agree with him on, on anything, but I, he's a smart guy. Uh, there's more of this. I could keep going. I don't want to waste everyone's time. This is a really long video already, and there's still like 20 more minutes of you guys blathering on. I'll link people to it. If people really want to see Opie and Anthony in their entirety, it's down below. You should have no trouble refuting them yourselves in your minds. You don't really need me to do it. But jeez, guys. Just, like, just try harder. I, I mean, really, when you're paid to talk, and the best you could do is Fuck yo! Fuck your mother! You're a cunt, Bill Ma! You fucking cunt! You all know you're a cunt! Your mother's a cunt! Fuck yo! Yeah, that, well, that's all you got, dude. It's just really sad. Try a little bit harder, man. Just, just, I mean, you know, you're getting paid, dude. You're getting paid to talk. You're getting paid to convey your opinions. 
let's I mean, just just put a little effort into it. I mean, surely even your audience. I, I mean, I'm sure they have brains the size of peas, and their drool is accumulating in a, a puddle at their feet as they sit in their chairs, rocking back and forth. Just thinking, of shit. I hate everything, but I love me some Open Anthony, man. They talk the truth. You know, I'm sure that's your audience, but even that audience deserves a little bit more eloquence than what you are capable of, or at least what you're giving them. Saying, fuck yo, over and over again. It's not clever, it's not edgy, it's not cool. You guys suck. Peace.